so many topics this week. All right, let's go over to Candace Owens and Joe Budden podcast release. It happened. Did I was, y'all watch? I'm going to be honest. Y'all going to have to sh- tell me a little bit about it. Okay. I have a strict... You watch it? I, I'm like Maul. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not giving yeah. money to no <laughs> man for no <laughs> conversation. <laughs> I'll talk. Nigga, yeah. why would I pay for another man's conversation? And I watched a bunch of like, not a bunch of recaps. I watched Danny's video. Gotcha. Yeah. And I watched a lot of snippets. I did yeah, like and- Joe's posture. Outfit was he fresh. sat like this for like a 30 minutes straight. Sure, like Negro. You know what I'm saying? You know? uh-huh. I like that shit. So I watched the whole thing. Um, as did I. I watched Danny's videos as well. I watched Danny's video as well, too. Uh, I know Danny titled it as uh, Candace Owen Exposed Joe Budden. That's because that's and, what he got to do. And, and, yeah. and it was just what he had to do. Because honestly, in reality, I didn't believe it was that. Mm-hmm. So I just, I think that was a titling thing. This is the real question. Did you leave with respect for Candace? Mm-hmm. I always liked Candace, but I did leave with a little bit more respect. Uh-huh. I liked what about little, you, white man? I liked a little bit more. You, you think the same white man? Uh, I don't know. I still don't know yet. You don't respect black women? Well, it's it wasn't, <laughs> like I said, when we asked, we talked about it a little on LOI. Well, like I said, it wasn't really like a like a heavy debate. You know, it was like it, a, it was like a let let her get her shit off. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, you, it, lot, you, what yeah. happened? And I think what happened was what I was kind of predicting. Mm. I think it humanized her. This was yeah, actually absolutely. the human it humanized series. Humanized her a little bit. Yep. This was actually for. Yeah. Uh, it wasn't a Patreon. It was the human series. Mm. Um, and there was one specific moment too where he was finally like, "There you go. That's the Candace I want to hear. That's what I want." You know what I'm saying? Like, and trying to humanize her. Candace has kinda, likable. Yeah. Ca- Candace has likable tr- personality traits. It's, There's certain things, yeah. As, and if you're a broadcaster, there's no way you can watch Candace and and not say that she's one of the best in this current climate. At broadcasting, and uh, she has likable characteristics. You just might not agree with all her views, and that's because it's on the firm, rigid conservative side. You know what I'm saying? These these niggas don't bend, they don't fold. So mm-hmm. it's it's where, and if they always have their final ace in the hole, which is because God said so. Uh-huh. So it's uh-huh. like it's, if you're gonna have a problem with that, there's gonna be things you don't like about her forever. It doesn't bother me whether I believe it or not. You know what I mean? If I hear that, it's just like. Yeah. When I almost get excited when I hear because God says so. I'm like, you dirty bell, you dirty yeah. dog. You, yeah. you yeah. pulled that one out. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. the only, the, the only, <laughs> you got me. The only thing right, about right. Jesus died for this thing. Right. The only thing about her is like, I still hear, because like I said, with the uh, other one I listened to, with the, the Destiny shit and this, I still hear sometimes where it's like, you're really just fighting for a clear side because sometimes you don't for completely sure. answer something that, Directly affects directly your affects side. your side. For sure. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, it's clear that you're just fighting for a real side, even though you say you're just doing truth. Like, I'm like, it, if you want to be the truth person, be the truth person all the way. Don't mm. just point it on, on one side, yeah. even though that's there's what you're a, supposed to do. When well, that's your side, you know what I'm saying? You got a preference, and you can tell. Yeah, you can tell. Yeah, and yeah. yes, that's and all it is. That's what they all have, and it's like that's what makes watching most political siding conversations frustrating. Because even though the Patrick Beck David joint, it's like. <laughs> All right, we hear you lacing your point. You're taking the most random, obscure topics and figuring mm-hmm. out a way to loop it back into why mm-hmm. Trump wouldn't do that or wouldn't allow mm-hmm. it. Or, but you know, it's just you always yeah. figuring out a reason, a way to link this to your political views. It's it's just what they do, and it's. I guess that's what happens when you're getting majority of your money from that, from that side, side. You know, guess, it's yeah. just that's what you're likely to expect. She got mixed children, man. Yeah, you know. But then we're just talking about her political side, not even her racial side. And I mean, and her husband, you know, yeah. being white probably plays a part. Because I know English nothing white. about English him. English white, yeah. Me neither. Oh, I, found, I found out he's English white. Yeah. I, I yeah, thought he right. was like white mm. from America. He's from the UK. Patriotic nigga. white, right? Yeah. 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 I didn't know that. Nigga, eat beans yeah, for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Crumpets, nigga. Yeah, so. That's why she's so definitely, There was definitely a certain level of humanization that happened with it. Uh, was. It wasn't a bad interview. I thought it was good. I thought. She was able to get her shit off. That's really what it was. It mm-hmm. was two people. It was Joe uh, peaking his curiosity in terms of um, let me figure out who that. Let me get my questions off. I was know? about to say, yeah. There's definitely moments I I would listen to or hear where I would say somebody else who was more familiar with her before that sit down. You can have a little pushback, and maybe if it's not pushback, I can definitely ask level two and three of this. Yeah, question. we can just extrapolate is, a little more. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Like on what's certain up, levels. Because this is for uh, his humanitarian uh, human, human series. Human series. Yeah. yeah. What is yeah. he trying to become? What 
what's that uh white dude, that old white dude with the glasses? Larry King. Larry, Larry King. King. Is he yeah. trying to become like his own little version of Larry King? Where uh, he's trying to level with niggas. And, that's a dying breed of journalism. But it's yes. also Broadcast. something that I, yes. only... Yes. You like know. you could say Larry King and Joe Rogan. Yes. Just a one-on-one... Nah, not Joe Rogan. Maybe not Joe But I would just I say just a one-on-one interview slash conversations being top of your class superior he's that at bag. that. He's already done it with the pull-up series, the human series, but, but he's really honing it, especially with these human series because the human series gets saved. Because I thought it was from, Ian that made this. Well, he's a, he's he's a, part that's, of that's, he's that's, redu- yeah. that's redundant. But yeah, right. I, I saw it first on Twitter when it was just about like the cast members first. Yeah, because they was just like, "Yo, flip! Like, what's your favorite food? Why you hate Joe? Like, yeah. shit like that." It makes you laugh. Yeah. So, uh, and I saw the one where the uh, the sniper dude went on there. I think that was the first one I ever that saw. That was the first one. Yeah. Then I saw the one with the nine eleven firefighter. Yeah, yeah. Uh, where he was like, Joe was crying in the living room, like. Hearing the story back, I was like, "Oh yeah, this is fuck Larry Joe's King." He and honestly, like the, produ- the human's production is kind of the human's production is like that. Yeah, shout oh, out yeah. to oh, like yeah. it's it, the human production. Did, the trailer was crazy. Yeah, he did one with Mike Tyson. That shit was hard too. Oh, I missed the one with Mike. Oh no, no I did see that. the one with yeah, him. I did see the one with Mike Tyson. That, yeah. Yeah, Yo, yeah, he's been did. doing this for a minute. Yeah. It has. This is only episode nine. Is this his first six for humans? I think so. Is okay. this his? Uh, that's kind of crazy. Yeah, but he's always busy. But is this his first political pundit? On humans, possibly. <coughs> I think so. Which probably hits a little bit harder. It mm. is, and this is perfect for humans. This isn't a pull-up situation. Like humans is like, it's really touching like core of America things. It's. It's a 9-11 firefighter. Uh-huh. It's uh it's Mike Tyson. It's a political act uh political person on the right, uh, left. It's or right. I mean, um and it's the all, first one. It's it, uh, it's mm. the 911 sniper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not 911. Um the uh, Osama sniper. Yeah, yeah. Osama yeah. bin Laden. Yeah, it's some real like Everybody has to pick this up, whether you know who Joe Biden is or not. Like that's what I mean. Yeah. He's trying to, yeah. yeah. And do you prefer hearing Joe talk political over Charlemagne? Um, it's hard to compare because you know Charlemagne got so many more political interviews. Yeah, but. and it's hard to comp- it's hard to pick because Joe wasn't trying to dive all he the wasn't. way into he wasn't he, you know, so we really I didn't really hear what he's capable of or what he might say mm-hmm. because I pulled this one screenshot out just because he did such a beautiful job at protecting the brand at all costs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What type of hat is that called? The King God. It says a Patreon episode though. <clears throat> Yeah, so don't put this on the screen. Yeah. But you know, if you do want to see what's happening, just imagine Joe. Yeah, Biden five dollar Patreon, subscribe and watch. Dressed it. like a mocha frappe. Mm-hmm. Tell me yeah. about your attack on the new women, of uh, the new wave of female MCs. Are we calling them MCs? Are we doing that? Okay. I am because I have to go back home. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you get to hang out in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so say, yeah, you enjoy <laughs> yourself. <laughs> yeah. I'm just here to get my shit off. You know, I'm here to let you get your shit off, but I'm going back. So And if you didn't hear what she said, uh I mean, she basically said like what she was about to say, like calling them MCs is kinda like an overstatement. Like it's disrespectful the, in her mind, because MCs to her is Queen Latifah. La- 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 yeah. 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 Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, literally MF Doom. It's so funny when like a conservative Scarface. tries to relate with like black culture, they're mm. like Big Daddy like Biggie Kid. and Tupac, like are yeah, you kidding me? Yeah. Like NWA, That's nigga, where they we go. listen to that yeah. shit, nigga. Like, yeah. like say, say, fucking little baby. Now we like, hold up, who is this? Or even mm-hmm. like a little Uzi. Uh, but even Lou, when anything, people, yeah. even yeah, when yeah, like, yeah. even her saying like also, or talking too. about like music in general, it sounds crazy because she knows she doesn't know nothing of what she speak of. I mean, yeah. she made some good points when she was on the music tip, though. She was talking about just. The, the, a the little bit of like what's being pushed, yeah. but it's as obvious. far as like what music, it's obvious. Yeah, yeah, of course. You feel me? It's like obvious. they say bad shit, duh, bitch. We knew that. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. she also talked about like just you know the marketing, like the what are why are they pushing mm-hmm. this? Mm. But it's still a lot of good music out. Yeah. Right? Not there is, but it's, it's an egregious difference in what it used to be because I I didn't even know for real how long it, I can't even really say how long it's been since I've listened to my favorite type of music religiously like I used to. You know what I'm saying? Like, but what's your like? What's your favorite type of music? Hip hop, R&B. But like, the hip hop side of that has fallen flat. No, it has. 
Yeah, a lot of it has. Nah, man. That's, Y'all just did a ride out on three Oak Lake. This nigga just played Mike. We're yeah. trying to bring yeah. it back. We're trying to, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah, trying yeah. to help the ecosystem. Yeah. 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 But like, yeah. and y'all had options. Y'all played good music. Yeah, it was good shit. Good but, shit. Yeah. Mine was from Nipsey. Victor, I'm going to be Victor honest. Lab. It's more good music well, yeah, than it is gone, bad. But, you know. For sure. It's still new good music. For Prob- sure. Probably. It's when, way when more look, good when music at, than when it you look is at bad. When you, look at it, when you look at the totality of music, Mike, probably. Mike is great. That's what I'm saying. And yeah. I'm not even saying, probably. I, of course, I, that I win just based off of the numbers because it's probably more good music. But, but what Candace was saying in here is that the reason slips. we're not, the, like, she was pretty much saying that white people are trying to use push. every tool in the book to bring black people down. So we're going to push this music so that this is what the kids are, are doing. Exactly. So there's degeneracy always. And then like black people are not going to grow out of their circumstances and shit. Like and that's that. what I agree with. Like, it's definitely probably a social science. And black people are the only people or one of the people who agree, like hear what the media says and actually runs with it. Runs with, yeah. That was another big, that's a big, big issue. One, yeah. What? That's, she said that? She said that, yeah. but that She's was media. But and that was it's crazy. crazy how she doesn't know nothing about white people. That's literally what white people <laughs> exactly. do. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's the whole thing where, especially it's, poor white people. Yeah, that's the whole thing where it might snow tomorrow. Did you just gonna... disagree with a black woman? Yeah, I'm not crazy. Uh-huh. Yeah, but that's the I whole love thing. Them, it, it might snow tomorrow, and everybody buys all the bread and milk right. from the grocery store. Right. It's, right. Yeah. Media in general does that to people, so it, that she, was a little yeah. bit of a stretch to say niggas only believe the media. But she but was saying that we don't even watch. But is that that's still yeah. her place to say that though? <laughs> it like, is. It is for yeah. sure. You know. Um, but let's keep moving. Just I do, do want to watch it though. I'm gonna pay that five dollars. It's us. Yeah. All right, mall. 